Hey queens, if you want to see how I achieve this look, stay tuned. She's a So ain't nothing changed with my eyebrow routine. Literally, I'm just using a dark brown pencil to outline my natural shape of my eyebrows. And then I'm going to fill it in with a lighter brown pencil that cost me a dollar. It does the job just fine. Now I'm going in with some LA Pro Girl Concealer and I'm going to use Beautiful Bronze on the top which is very close to my complexion and then a lighter shade on the bottom. Now I pretty much just based in my lid with P. Louise um, Concealer, you know because it's all fancy. And then I'm just blending it out with a Morphe sponge, which by the way is not my favorite. I highly recommend Eco Tools um, Beauty Blending Sponge, I think it's called. I'll leave it in the description box, but yeah. So I'm just blending it out so everything is just seamless. And when, we, when it's time to go in with the shadow, it's gonna be popping. As you can tell, I am super excited about this Jaclyn Hill 2 palette, baby. These colors give me life. They are super pigmented. And this whole look is going to be based on just this palette. Every color, in, well not every color, but you know man, you know what I talk about. So I went in with the color Crazy. And I'm literally just packing it in my crease, like packing it in because I want this look to be super bright. So I'm going to pack it in and then afterwards I'm just going to blend it all out. So basically all I'm doing is, you could say smudging it out, I'm buffing it out, or I'm blending. I just don't want any harsh lines because with the amount of color that I pack in my crease, sis, like if you don't blend till your wrist start hurting, sis, you, you about to be looking real jacked up with your non-blended eyeshadow. So right now I just going in with the color Heart On um, with that same blending brush and I'm not going to pack it on the same way I packed in the last color in my crease. Just lightly tap it in, blend it out, buff it all out so it just looks like one color. You can't tell where the two is separated and everything will just look right. Now we're going in with the color My Man with this smaller blending brush right above that last color and I'm just going to bring it all the way to my inner crease. Um, honestly, I can't tell you why to use the colors that I use. I just know it will just look good. <laughs> so bear with me sis. I don't just just watch a lot. So right now I'm just going in with the color Temptress. 
um, and I'm going to focus that strictly on the outer corner of my eyes and I'm not going to bring it too far in it's just gonna be on the outer corner because I don't really like to do wing eyeliners anymore I don't know why or when I lost interest in that but um, I just prefer to do this method I just think it looks better it looks more professional and I'm just going to bring that color a little bit in the outer i don't even know to explain this but you see what i'm doing here and i just think it's gonna blend seamlessly when i put on my liquid liner So when I'm finished with that, I am going back in with that brush we used initially and with no extra color on it or anything, just blending out everything, blending out that black. And then now I'm going in with my MAC, um, I don't even know the number of this brush, <laughs> but this is the method I use for, yeah, yeah, so check this out, right? So you're yelling on a patient for cut crease. So this is my alternative for cut crease and I think it works just fine. So I just using the P. Louise um, concealer, I put it on this brush and then I just tapping it in and then that's how I get my <laughs> quote unquote cut crease. Be sure to tap the concealer in until it's dry, okay? And then now I am going in with the color Empowered. And I'm just going to tap that in with this eyeshadow brush, basically in the middle of my lid. And then I'm going to go in with another shade in the inner corner. Now I'm going in with the color Paolo, I think is how you pronounce it, and I'm just going to tap it in the inner crease. Now I am going to blend everything out with the color Oh Hello, that's literally how they put it, Oh Hello with an exclamation point. So yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because again, I want everything to be super blended and you should want everything to be super blended too sis. Now for my favorite part, this is the wing, not so wing, I don't even know what to call it, but this is my favorite part because I just feel like at this point, the look is just like, it's just color on a lid, but this step brings everything together and then, you know, the lashes is just the icing on the cake. So I basically just drew a line coming Ugh, my English is so bad. So I basically just drew a line humming, meeting. <laughs> oh my god, forget it. Okay, so I drew the eyeliner line and I made it meet up with the black eyeshadow and then I top it in with the same temptress color. Okay, yeah, that sounds a little better. Then to add a pop of color, well some more color, I am just going in with NYX um, Vivid Bright Eyeliner and this is just in the color white. Then I'm going to line my waterline with a white pencil and this is nothing fancy, I got it from the 
beauty supply store um, I just rather use white on my waterline when I do color on my lids because it just gives you a nice Barbie finish not necessarily Barbie it just makes it look better and then I tight lined with um, elf black eyeliner and then now I'm just basing I'm priming my face with what did i use i think that was a smashbox mineral minimized pores and then i'm going in with my maybelline fit me foundation i absolutely love this foundation um it gives you full coverage um and then i blend it out with this brush i got from um morphe but I don't really like it's so dense like I I don't know how I feel about it um it works fine as you can see but I prefer something a little bit more loose so I went ahead and I sprayed my face in the middle of putting on my foundation because I just didn't like how dry it had feel so yeah, I did that with the best um, spray, the best setting spray. I just love Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. Now I'm just basting, basting, oh my gosh. Now I'm just basing my eyelids or prepping my eyelids for the eyelashes. And of course, you don't know, this is by my brand, Koinonia by Zazel. And these are in, sti <laughs> these are in style VIP. Now I'm going in with this Eco Tools body sponge and it is a body sponge. I was just being so extra. This sponge is so huge, like it's ridiculous. But I went in to get more of the intricate areas of my face, like underneath my eye that I felt I didn't get with the brush. And then up top, you know, on my forehead because you know I got this wig on. So I don't want to mess it up and just go in all loosely with the brush. So I'm just going to try and blend it out as much as I can. And then I am going in with the color. I believe that was Warm Honey or Fawn. Honestly, y'all, this video was filmed in March. And I am only now editing it. So I do not remember what I use. I don't use the same things all the time. So, yeah, I'm just going to put the concealer under my eye, the bridge of my nose, uh, my forehead, and my chin. And then I'm just going to blend that out. So your girl gets so fancy that she went in and started blending with a brush and let me tell you i just i love the outcome of it like i really like blending with a brush i did go back in with that sponge because i wanted this look to be so clean and flawless that i just over blended okay so um not that the brush didn't do the job i just really wanted to get underneath the eyes and in the corner and stuff like that so yeah So after I finished blending, I immediately went in with my setting powder. This is the Air Spun, you know, my holy grail. I will forever be using that. <laughs> and I am not baking yet. I just really want to set the under eye before it starts to crease. Like, we don't want no creases. Not with this look. So, yeah. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to just move on to the contour. 
and I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones and then you're gonna see that I am going to spray that brush with the same oh, oh girl okay yes listen sis be feeling herself when, <laughs> when I start contouring so yeah I'm gonna spray the brush and then with the all-nighter setting spray and I'm going to blend that out setting my face so I'm going to just put the air spun the setting powder every place where I had the highlight so that includes under my eyes my chin bridge of my nose and the forehead So the same method I used with the contour on my cheekbones, I did the same thing with my nose. So I sprayed that small little angle brush and I am blending it out and I'm even going to come towards the tip of the eyebrow because I want everything to just look really blended and you know, you know. You ever wonder why your mouth gotta be open when you, when you like what is that like why we can't just close up our mouth and concentrate at the same time oh wait 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 i wasn't ready <laughs> anyway i'm going in with this juvia's place um and i'm literally using this eyeshadow to set my contours going in with this blush by MAC and I'm just going to tap that on well I'm brushing it on actually so I'm just gonna brush that on right on top of the contour And 
then I'm going in with this bronzing powder by NYX and I'm going to go on top of the blush now with this color. Now I am just dusting off all of the setting powder and don't worry if you look ashy okay because setting the right setting spray could fix that easy and the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is going to fix that problem. Now I am about to cut these cheeks baby Ch ching that's not even in the sound of a knife like swing yeah i think that's song right yeah so i'm gonna cut this cheek with the same setting powder um to just give us a professional look why do you say professional like what i'm really trying to say is it's just going to make you look more like an expert you know experts cut their cheekbones okay they contour like this not necessarily professional let me just clear that up. Honestly, let me just tell you the truth. I hate doing voiceovers. I get so nervous and tongue-tied. Like, I just don't. I just rather just do a watch and learn. I do not like this. I think I'm just going to do more sit-throughs with you and just talk while I apply my makeup. Anyway, so right now, I am applying the Angola, um this is not a bronzer this is highlight yes this is my favorite part so i just put some on the bridge of my nose and then i blend it out mm -mm, pe period period sis yeah and then i put some on my chin and then i put some on my forehead so we're gonna be glowing i love to glow i like glitter you know everything girly now we're just checking out myself to see what else i'm missing so i went ahead and used the same color crazy that we have in our crease and i just point that on my bottom lid um not sparingly i'm gonna put a good amount and then i'm going to go in with this maybelline mascara and i'm going to pretty much layer it on there to make me look like i have on some falsies on my bottom lash Then I'm going to go in with this bronzing palette by e.l.f. and I'm just going to use one of the lighter shades on my brow bone and just blend it out really nice. Again, you know, you don't want no harsh lines so just keep blending and this is with a smudge brush. is satisfied Ay. so now we're gonna just use our favorite setting spray and just spray it on down ying you wasn't ready you was not ready you was not ready Ay. so listen so we just um apply the lips off camera oh i went ahead and changed to nude lips but you could do either or dark or nude if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe babes